Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 36 and in this tutorial we are continuing our mini-series on how to create a basic website so, or website layout and this is part 3. So I'm going to scroll down here to my uh, side section because this is where we left off in the previous video and this is where we're going to start working now. Um, so if you guys watched the previous video, then you will remember that we um, created an article or we learned about this article tag and created an article inside of our main section of our website. Okay. Um, then we went ahead and gave that article a heading or a header, um, you know, some content and an actual footer and I explained uh, how we can use all of this stuff. So we can do the same thing in the aside section as well, but this would be somewhat less important content. Um, in fact, something that you might see in the aside section a lot on uh, quite a few websites is social links. Um, so you might have an article tag like this, an ending article, or even um, a div tag. So maybe let's just use a div and ending div. And in here, the user might, or you as a designer, might putting a heading to and an ending heading to. And in here, type in something like social links and actually leave your Facebook and Twitter links below. So uh, to do that, let's actually create an unordered list and ending unordered list. And again, li and uh, ending li and in here, D to A to X. Okay. So let's just give that an href of um, nothing at the moment. So it's blank. And in here, uh, type in Facebook. And we could probably just duplicate this line and type in Twitter. And we might also have, other than the social links, uh, we might also have like another article or um, just related articles to this article where you have like a heading just to explain, okay, uh, this is the other article, you know, just so that the user can get interested. And then um, a paragraph just for the user to read to see what that article is about. And then maybe a see more button, you know, to click and actually read uh, that story. So let's create an article tag here and ending uh, article and you know what I'm actually gonna wrap all of these up in a div tag so let's just uh, do that opening div knock that in one and ending div and in this article um, or in this div rather at the top here we could create a heading 2 again so ending heading 2 and here's where you would say like related uh, articles or related stories or something. Okay, and then you can have an article that was somewhat related to this main article. So the user could come read this article and then go, hey, um, you know, there's another story over here. Let me click on that and see what that's all about. So let's go ahead now and just uh, add in maybe a heading three. Uh, as the uh, side headings here okay and you know this can be a heading for another story and below that just a paragraph to get the user interested so not the entire story but just a paragraph to get the user interested um, so get interested and click below to see more and beneath that we might have a footer that will just contain um, a link that says see more so uh, let's end that off like that as a a and you know href and we won't take that anywhere but we might say see more and the user can click here to read the full article uh, and we can actually divide this up even further because like I said an article can have a header and this is indeed our header. 
Then we've got our paragraph, which is just to get the user interested in the actual article. And this is our footer, which contains uh, the see more link. So um, we could go ahead and do something like this. Uh, create a footer there and end it off there. And again, um, over here, we could do the same thing with the header. Okay. Uh, whoopsie daisy. <laughs> there we go. And ending header. And now if I save this and we go take a look at this in Firefox, let's see what we've got. Okay. So we have our logo, um, our navigation, which you know doesn't really look like navigation at the moment and we've got our main section over here but underneath that what the heck we've got our aside section underneath the main section so it's not actually appearing on the side uh, just yet and then we've also got our footer at the bottom of the page okay so this doesn't exactly look like a website just yet but we do have all the content for the makings of a good or a decent website layout. Okay, so in the next video, we are going to start using CSS to actually get this logo appearing in the right place, get this navigation, you know, maybe floated to the side here and appearing next to the logo. This article can be uh, centered and the side, side um, news or uh, aside tag should be appearing on the right hand side of the um, the browser, <laughs> sorry I got a little bit confused there, but yeah we'll get that um, floating to the right hand side of the browser and we'll have our footer you know just uh, expand the entire browser or something. So I will see you guys in the next video and until then do not forget to subscribe, please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video, it's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.